Hey, hi friends. I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see a HTTP connector with Mule ESB. So, what is a HTTP connector? Basically, you can use the HTTP connector as a listener as well as requester. When I say as a listener, like you can receive the request from the client. When you are using the HTTP connector as a listener, or when you are using HTTP connector as a requester, you can send a any request. To the destination or any message to the any data to the destination. HTTP support various methods that is you know like post, put, you know delete, get, fetch, various. Okay, so today we will going to see some various demo you know some features available with a HTTP listener as well as HTTP requester. So basically, when you are using the HTTP connector in a source region, it is known as a HTTP listener. Whenever you are using the HTTP connector in a uh, processor region, it is known as a HTTP requester. Right? So let me start with some demo. First, let me stop some my running application. I will say file new mule project. I will say HTTP listener requester app for runtime. I will keep 3.8. In your environment, there can be a multiple runtime. You can keep depending on your requirement. Rest of the setting, I am not going to touch. I will say directly finish. Okay, so it will create a new application for you. Here you can see a mule pallet. First thing you can see a connector. So search for HTTP connector. So I will say HTTP. So I will drag and drop the HTTP connector in the canvas region. So you can see like I have drag and drop the HTTP, and you can see like HTTP connector now in the source region that is known as a HTTP, list, HTTP listener. Okay, now I will going to configure it. You can see various things like basic settings, general settings. Okay, so first what we will we do? We have to do the connector configuration. For that I will click on this add button. Fine. So instead of all interface, I will keep select localhost. I will going to show you what is difference between all interfaces. Localhost. I will say OK. Here I will say test. Allow method I will say get. Now let me draw, drag and, drag and drop one set payload. I want one logger. See, you, you can see like inbound property. These are all the inbound properties available with HTTP listener. You can see like HTTP listener path, method, query param, string. You can see scheme, status, URI param, HTTP version. Fine. So these are all the properties available. So we have done the uh, you know, configuration. Now I will test it. Let me go all the thing. One minute before that, I have to start my application and I have to set payload. I will say okay. get method exe. Let me start the application. It will ask me to say yes. The application is deploying. Okay, you can see the application has been deployed. Now I will send message. I will say, okay, it was giving me answer like get method executed. Now I will show you like I put logger component here. You can see everything like in the st like logger will show you everything like what is your path, what is your method, you know what is your relative path, what is the URI, everything you can see here. So these are all the inbound properties available with your HTTP listener. Now I want to show you more thing. Uh, instead of localhost, I will going to use 127.0.0.1. I will send message. It will work fine. Now instead of dot one, what I will do? I will use dot two. It should not work. Okay. So if you go to the endpoint studio, you can see the error also. Okay. So now what you have to do? You have to go to HTTP. This is this time you have to click on edit button instead of localhost you try to use all interface 
all interface you know like uh, localhost will specifically read you know listen on the localhost and the port number 8081 but if you select all interface it will allow all the ip and but port should be 8081 let me show you i will save it let me check if application is deployed okay application is been deployed i will send it okay this time it has been executed i will say 3 Okay, it has been executed. Now again, I will say instead of three, I will say one. So it executed. Now I will change port. It is not executed. Let me again make it eight zero eight one, and instead of one twenty seven dot zero dot, I will make it local host. I will send it. This time it should work. Okay. Now what I will do after test, I will put some more URI params. I will say send. This time it was saying there is a no endpoint listening for because we have endpoint listening for less less wide because we have you know tell like only the path is less test only so what you can do you can make use of wild card okay I will say less star let me save it you, it means you are saying less you require less test up to less less test there can be anything. Let me send me message. See method. Now I will put. Let me put anything. I'll send. It allow anything. Right? This is how you can make use of wildcard. Now let me do one thing. I will use. I will let me make it again only test. Here I will. I will look for one more HTTP component. I will name this. Let me name the first. I will say get HTTP request. Here I will say post HTTP request. Now I, I will going to configure the HTTP. I will. You can use same configuration. See, it will automatically be tick. But in the path, I will use same path, but method will be post. Okay. Here, what we have done? Done. Like test get. In this, we are doing test post. Now let me drag and drop logger component. Now finally set payload. Here, I can say. Post method executed, and I will say plus payload, and I will going to explain like how you can read from this HTTP inbound properties. I will going to explain that also. Let me save the application. Let's wait while application is deploying. Okay. The first thing, let me remove this all URI params. I will send it. It told me like get method executed. Now what I will do? Post. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Post method executed. I have to convert that to into dot to string. Okay, that is fine because I have to do iteration and everything. That's fine. So let me do one thing. I will remove payload because this because we are sending nothing. That's why. Right. Let me save again. I will send it. The post post method executed. Now I will say get method executed. Okay. Now this is how you can make use of HTTP. Listener component. We will going to see the how you can read the inbound properties while you know seeing a demo on HTTP requester. So let me do one thing. In my first get HTTP request flow. What I will do? I will drag and drop one HTTP requester. Okay, we need to do all the setting. So I have some URL. 
Okay, first thing under connector configuration, click on this add button. Okay, it will open, open a new dialog for you. You have to provide the host and the port. Okay, it's the HTTP URL. This is my host. Okay, I will going to paste it here. Port is 80. Fine. I will say okay. Here you have to provide a path. This is my path. URI pair. Now I have to pass one URI pair. That is the destination. So I will say SFO. What is the method? I will say get. So there can be a, there are a lot of method under HTTP. You can see various method. Fine. That's fine. Let me save the application. Let's wait while I okay. Application has been started. Now I will send get request. So you will get a flight returns. Its destination is SFO. Now instead of SFO, I want for LX. So I will change my code to LX. Let me save it. I will send it. I got flight for LX. But now I want to make it more configurable. Like for input, I will no, I don't want to hard code it the value. So what I will do, I will send one query param with I will say destination equal to SFO. Okay, I will send this as a query parameter and I have to okay when I send to destination, it has to be sent as a URI parameter. So let me show how we can do. First thing we will read that into the flow variable. I have something called flow variable. So how we can read that? I will show you. I put variable here. So now I have to read the query param from the inbound. So I will say destination. So under value I need to read, I will say message dot inbound properties dot HTTP query params. HTTP query param. You can see various parameters there. But now I want to read from HTTP. Here your remote address, status, everything. I want to read from HTTP query params. I will say that. Dot, I want to give a query param name, which we are passing through URL. Okay, this is how you can read. Now, here instead of LX, I have to pass destination. How can you do? You can do add parameter. There are various parameters. But I will say URI params, URI param, and I will say dest. And now I have to read the value from flowers dot destination. And here instead of LX, you can do curly bracket dest curly bracket. Save it. This will deploy the application. Fine. You have to provide like this. Okay, application has been deployed. Now I will set destination SFO in the see we got all the destination related to SFO. I will say LX. Now we got destination related to LX. Okay. So this is how you can use a HTTP connector as a listener and requester. Hope you have enjoyed video. If you like my video, just subscribe to it. Thanks for watching video.